My name is Sergeant Martinez, Farmington Police. Are you okay? Yeah. You're driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh, I didn't know. You, you didn't know? I'll watch this by six. I got a new pool. Yes, northbound and the southbound lanes are 371. Um, from the whole court. <laughs> Northbound in the south lane. For 114. It's gonna have a chili plate, nice cool Adam Zebra, Robert Tom. I can't get the plate. It's gonna be a Toyota Corolla four door passenger park. I don't know, bear gold. We're gonna see if it pulls into the bus guy. Speedway. Forward forward Uh A firm, we're coming up to uh, Murray. Speeds are Four miles an hour. 114. Hello? Hi. How, uh, my name is Sergeant Martinez. Can you stop your car? Turn it off? Yeah. Turn it off. 4114. Alright, I'm at Murray and Bistai. We are in... I'm basically blocking the intersection. The vehicle stop. Elderly male. Adam Zebra, young boy, two seven, sixty six thirty three. Um, my name is Sergeant Martinez, Farmington Police. Are you okay? Yeah. You're driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh, I didn't know. You, you didn't know? Yeah. Uh, I was going up to uh to the high speed. Have you been drinking alcohol today? No. Have you been taking any uh, medication? Uh, taking uh, methotrexate and for what? Four one fourteen. Can we start medic for our location? Not ten eighteen. Male, conscious, breathing. Left side of his face looks droopy. Um. They want to pull into the Bistai Speedway. At this time, not 1018. How old are you? Uh, How old are you? Uh, 82. 4114. This is going to be a male subject, 82 years old. Okay. Um, do you suffer from any medical disabilities or anything like that? Uh, do you suffer from any medical conditions? Oh, uh, I... I take uh, medical uh, blood pressure. Okay, do you have diabetes or anything? Do what? Can I see your water? Can I see your water? Yes. Forty-seven. Four one fourteen, I think. Yeah, let's keep medics coming, but it's definitely a forty-seven. Can, can you put your car in park? Thank you. Can you step out of the car, please? A firm, if one fifteen is available. Let's have him step on out down there. We're going to give this one to 115.
No, sir. 108, and no report. Break 115, going 11. Hey, sir. Got calls you driving the wrong lane of traffic, man. Let's go over here. We're going to have to help you across the street. Or can you walk on your own? Let's go this way. Do you have them? I'm going to move all these. Yeah, I'm going to move all these cars. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. Hey, come over here. Hey, let's come over here. Hey, see that red thing? We're going to take a seat on that, all right? Yeah. I'm just gonna take a take a seat, okay? Over here on this red thing. I don't want you falling, okay? Okay. Come over here. You see that little post right there? I want you to take a seat on that, okay? Take a seat. Take a seat. Yeah. Sit down. Negative. Yeah. We're just going to get cars out of the way, Sarge. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any medical conditions, sir? Oh, uh, I'm taking uh, high blood pressure. And uh, Mr. Trick say, okay, do you suffer from any type of do you have any pain in your arm right here? Uh, no, okay, I just want to make sure you're having a medical emergency. Sir, I can smell the odor of an alcoholic beverage coming from your breath. How much have you had to drink today? Huh? How much alcohol have you had to drink today, sir? Uh, about uh, one of those little mini miniatures. Little miniatures? Yeah. Okay. Little miniatures? Okay. Alright. Hey, Clark, just sit with him. I'm in my car. Okay. What'd you do with that water bottle? Okay. I put it in there. Okay. So, I have somebody that's going to come and talk to you, okay? Do you have your driver's license on you? No, I get uh, my, my IDs. Okay. So there was a water bottle in the center console. Mm -hmm. His eyes are extremely bloodshot and watery. He has a slurred speech. Says he's not diabetic. He is on medication. Mm -hmm. um, I asked to see the water bottle. He gives it to me. I shake it up and it starts like foaming. Mm -hmm. At that point, I realize it's vodka. Okay. What's your name? I'm George. George what? Platero. Platero. Right. Mr. Platero, what's your birthday? <phone rings> okay, Mr. Platero, give me a few minutes. Clark, you want to leave your car? Yeah. What's your big deal? You're driving the opposite lane of traffic. Huh? You're driving the opposite lane of traffic. The what? Opposite lane of traffic. I was coming down the road. In the wrong lane. Yeah.
kind care, pick up somebody would. Hello. So he's been drinking tonight. He was driving the opposite lane of traffic. We're just making sure he doesn't say he have any has any pain right here in his arm, but we just saw that his side of his face was a little droopy. No. We didn't know if there's any type of medical issue going on as well. Right. But okay. if you guys just check him out real quick, make sure there's nothing majorly wrong with him. Okay. Right. Oh. Okay. Who's gonna talk? Down a bunch of paper. Okay. So I mean, I feel like, I feel like he's had enough 47s. Okay. Has he had it on a elderly? Or he's driving northbound in the southbound lane. Okay. Right in this car here. Yeah. We we just moved it over here, so it was like in there. Carlos will give you a little bit more info. Um. Odor, alcoholic beverage coming from his person. Okay. Smell it. Um, yeah. And hey. Give me a big smile. Show me your teeth. What all do you have Just still? Like Show me your teeth. Give me a big smile. Uh, CDP. Give me a big smile. Okay. Okay. What would you take today? Oh, a CAT one? CAT. I'll just take it. You guys can go today. I got it. Okay. You guys can go today. Yeah. No, it's it's good. Yeah, he was driving on the wrong side of the road. At first, I thought there were some medical issues, but then his eyes are too glossy, and then um, on top of that, he has an extremely slurred speech. But he said he wasn't diabetic. He says he's taking some weird medication. He doesn't appear to be having a stroke. The left side of his face did appear droopy, but after talking to him, it wasn't getting worse. Sure. Um, as we're here, I, I see the water bottle in his little cups, and so I just asked for his water bottle. I shake it up, and it foams like real fast. So at that point, I figured it was vodka, um, and then we pulled him out. He comes out staggering, and then you can start to smell the odor of alcohol. So I just, before we proceed with the DWI investigation, I just wanted you guys to get him, make sure his... Um, yeah, everything's good to go. Um, Why don't you let me take it? You can work on newspaper while I do it. That's cool. Cause you gotta, um, you gotta make sure that all this stuff is good to go. So, I'll, we'll, we'll, we got it covered. Um, why don't you guys go 1019 and get all that stuff done? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, I'm not gonna do a walk and turn or one leg stand with him because he almost no, ate it. Not. Um. I'll try to do HGN. We're gonna have to do blood draw. Oh, really? No way this guy blows. Oh, true. Age, you know? But, dude, like, I'm hanging out there with my radar on, waiting for it, because it's like, it's gonna scream, right? My radar's gotta scream, right? Like, at 100 miles an hour, you figured that the radar would go. Rrr. So, I'm chilling there, and I'm looking at this park, I'm down the hill, and I'm like, it's going pretty slow. I'm like, wait. What? Hello? Uh, go <laughs> Sorry. So I'm looking at it, I'm like, is it on the wrong lane? And dude, it's beeline in for me. So I put it in drive because I'm on the side of the road. And I take off so I don't get hit. Uh, negative. We'll get all that here in a little bit. Thank you. So then I take off, but he stays in the um, inside lane. Mm -hmm. And I get turned around and I'm like, surely this guy knows he's on the wrong lane, right? So I light it up and we're yeah, no, under 30 miles an hour. And then he slow rolls to this light because I guess it's red. I don't remember if it's red or green. And I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to cut him off. And I did. It fucked out. But dude, the whole way down here, I'm going the wrong way. I honestly didn't know like, if I was going to call out for suit yet because I saw the gas station. And I'm like, well, surely he'll just pull over there. Right? Oh, hi, but I'll just take it. No, you're good. I got it. So I got you two tonight, then? Yeah, I got two tonight. <laughs> I'll have a supper. <laughs> yeah, you got a report. This one should be easy. Yeah, this one should be. And the reason why I, call, why I kept medics coming is just so they can say that his pulse is good and all that stuff, you know? Does he have any, You ran him, right? Um. Yeah, but they're not finding him. So we'll just run all this stuff. 
I'm, he says he has his wallet on him or something. He's just going to want to get something for them. Dude, thank God they called him in, huh? <laughs> this guy is from the 100 mile marker. They called him in from the 100 mile marker. Man. He was doing about 100. You were. What? You were. <laughs> That's not, well, it's kind of, it's, it's funny now. Well, where were you going? Where were you going? Yeah, where were you going? Oh my god. You're getting there in a hurry. You can't be living life like you're back in your eight in your teens, buddy. <laughs> Dude, I'm glad I checked that water bottle. I'm like, that's weird. Let me see that real quick. Oh yeah, it's, it's vodka. <laughs> I was like telling you, I was like, don't I was like, don't check the water bottle, it's still in gear. I was like, I was like oh. <laughs> so I was telling you, I was like, just hey, put it in the don't put that <laughs> I wasn't thinking about my unit. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What a week. Dude, I'm like, wow, I'm about to pursue this ride. And the thing is, I thought, I was like, I was like, oh, he's going to follow me stop that car. I thought you, were, you said you pulled into this speedway. So I was like, all right, I'm sorry. I was like, no, it's not, it's not stopping. I was like, I don't want to run. This is going to be in trouble. And so I'm like, I'll like stop at the intersection out there. Like, lights real quick and just... <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, now I'm turning my lights. So. The episodes were from 20 years ago. He had a stroke 20 years ago. Cool. Oh. Acting appropriately, answering all my questions. What was the name he gave you? George Platero. Birthday? Yeah, that's what he gave me. Yeah. Okay. So I just have to get his old land. Probably guys probably never been arrested or probably from Arizona, too. All right. 72. George, is your license out of New Mexico or Arizona? Uh, New Mexico? What do you need? Oh. That's going to be a good video. Dude, I got scared, dude. I'm like, oh my god, he's coming for me. I was just like, he didn't get out of the way. Yeah, we're good. Mr. So yeah, this works out perfectly. He doesn't want to go, obviously. Do you want to go to the hospital? Do you want to go to the hospital? Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. All, right. All right, perfect. All right, we'll get out of here. Mr. Patero. I was just asking if he feels drunk. Okay. He already admitted it to driving. He said he had and I think that would be good miniatures. enough. He, some he, what? he said he had some miniatures. Oh, oh there that's there what he told go. me, too. I guess we just ask him how he feels. There's no way we're going to get anything out of him. Just must die, so droopy. Is I wonder. Else I can do for you guys? Hey, thanks for coming. Yeah, so, thank you for checking in. That's pretty important. What's going on? We didn't know either. I was like, <laughs> what in the heck? Mr. Potero, he said you oh, had yeah. some All miniatures. You guys miniatures get is of what? Like what the requests are for, right? Yeah. Yeah. You don't get like. What have no, you drank? You said miniatures. Just, miniatures of what? So basically. Little vodka? Or were they like smeared off? Like, hey, there's a car driving. Okay, smeared off vodka. How long ago did you drink them? Because you had that one in your center console. So, and so I'm just know, hanging out here, uh, like, with my radar, like, I'm trying to catch it. Two, three I'm hours just hanging ago? Out, two, three hours ago? it's coming down the yeah. hill slow, and okay. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Five. On the scale of but one to ten, like with ten being me, the most like intoxicated you have ever like, been, the road and one curves, being sober, right? so where like, would you rate yourself weird. right now? And then he's coming into the inside lane, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I put him take off. All right, sir. And then he corrects and stays on the opposite lane. You almost fell down over here in the middle of the road? So I don't you want the car, you to. You on that lane I don't want to do a standardized like field sobriety test because I don't want you to hurt yourself. Oh, Luckily, okay. there were no other. There was no other traffic. Is it fair to say road. that you don't feel like you'd be safe to be driving yeah, tonight? So that's what happened. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, uh, I Thank you guys. Impressed. My Appreciate son it. lives up the road. Your son lives up the road. All right. Yeah. Would it be? Would you say it'd be because you rated yourself a seven out of ten? Would you feel safe to say that it's not? Um, you weren't safe to be driving a motor vehicle tonight. We're in the parking lot of Speedway, 46 uh, on time, colors gray. I can go up to Seven, my um, 10, 15 for 14. Okay. But that, that's my question, sir, is you can't drive. You were driving in the opposite lane. Did you understand that? Right. Okay. So my question to you, Mr. Potero, is do you, like, is it safe to say that you would feel like you were too impaired to be driving a motor vehicle tonight? Uh, I I can call my uh, son. Okay. 
fucking well, freak. We, we, can't, we can't call sons right now, okay? Why would we have to call your son? Because you're drunk? No. No? <laughs> I'm not. Yes, you are. You just rated yourself a 7 out of 10. Do you think you're safe to drive? I, uh, I have a son. I know. Lives. We've been talking to you, and you go off on tangents. You're not answering our questions. It's almost like you're not understanding okay, the questions. Yeah, that... yeah, okay. I I can leave my car here, and I have my son come. Why would you want to do that? Huh? Why would you want to do that? I, like you guys saying, you think I was drunk. Have you been drinking no. today? I just got through telling you. Yeah, you said you drank three miniatures. Yeah, it's this. Plus the one in your center console. What's in that water bottle? It's this mix. A mix of what? Those little miniatures. Oh, so that does have alcohol in there. Yeah. You've been drinking. Where, where are you coming from? Uh, I was coming from uh, Chipra. Yikes! The, that that Highway Five. Uh, Chipra. I was taking my way home. Man. On the Baker Road. Oh, Bur the Burnham Road. No. Three seventy one. Three seventy one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you think you have healthy lungs to blow into a breath machine? No. Uh, Okay. At this point, you have slurred speech. Your eyes are bloodshot and watery. Hey, you speak I, with a slur. Just, you admitted to consuming alcohol. You, hey, and I think, me, and I think my partner my here son. found out you're a seven out of ten. Let me just call my Five son. is a halfway point. I think anybody would agree. All right, sir. So, we. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand up. We're gonna come over here to my car. Okay, I'm gonna come from the front. Uh, a firm we do. Right, sir, um, stand up for me. Come. Let's just do a good search on him. No. And hey. uh, let me get some gloves first, because this might not go well. Sir, just give me a. Uh... Day, you're under arrest right now for DWI. Just be cool with me, okay? Why? For DWI, driving under the influence I'm... and open container. You just ask me. If I had uh, somebody can treat me. I didn't ask you that. You told me that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Mr. Platero, you made a mistake tonight. It's not a big deal. Um, nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt, thank God. So, you are going to be under arrest for DWI. No. Okay. All right, Mr. Platero, go ahead and stand up Let's for stand us. Up, yeah. All right, thank you. One, two, two three. three. Oh, okay. goodness. Come over here. Okay, we're going to come over here to this car over here. Oh, All right, behind way. your car. To your right. Oh, whoa, whoa. Don't whoa. fall. We're not even no. going to handcuff hey. you, okay? My knees are hurting. Okay, are you, uh, you're, no. you're 81, huh? About 80, 80, 80 81, 82. We'll just hang yeah. up his hands to his front, that's okay. it. Okay. Uh, we'll do a good search on him. Okay. All right, sir. No. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, go ahead and put your hands right here, okay? All right. Sergeant Martinez is going to search one side of you. I'll search the other side and just keeping you up so you don't fall over, okay? I don't want you hurting yourself. You got a bunch of change and stuff right here. Yeah, I got like a dollar bill or two here in this yeah. pocket. Check on my money. Oh, no, you have it all. It's gonna go with you, sir. Okay, don't you worry about take all that. that money out. Yeah, just because if we're put, keeping his hands in front. I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah, good point. Good point. Yeah. I don't know if he's gonna blow yet or not. I have to read him that quite consent, but. Well, well, well you, you gotta take him for blood. Okay, well, I, don't think, I don't think he's got those healthy lungs. Yeah. Do you have any lung problems? I'll read blood. I'll just read hey, blood. I am not reading you. Oh, yeah? From where? $14, $14 I'm putting it in your wallet. wallet. Your face. Oh, you'll remember us? That's okay. And then you got another 21 in here. Oh, I'm going to... Oh, you. Okay. 
<laughs> Sir, are you are you blind in your right eye? I see there's a whiteness in your eye. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm blind. Too. Okay. Are you blind, blind or you you just got something wrong with your eye? Or one fourteen. Okay. Okay, okay, so, so last, last of Plat, Plat Tarot, Tarot, first of George. George. New, New Mexico. Mexico. Do you hey, it's going in the wallet. It's going in the wallet. I ain't taking your money, okay? okay. Don't worry about that. Okay. okay. Oh, well, then. I think, I think my partner, partner has jokes man. tonight. I'm, I'm making, making his life difficult yeah. today. Okay, Mr. Platero, we're gonna handcuff you in the front, okay? Usually we handcuff no, behind the back. Okay, yeah, yeah. You have to. It's, it's just, just procedure, sir. Okay, okay. we're not gonna, gonna slap, slap him on you hard, hard okay? okay? All right. I've been an old man. Yes. Yeah, I'm we sorry. have to. Mr. Well, Pl normally we handcuff people in the back. So we're, we're doing, doing you a favor and putting it up front. Mr. Rotero, you're the oldest guy I have handcuffed, okay, sir? No, oh, sorry. Yeah, you're good. I'm just processing it. <laughs> All right, Mr. Rotero. Okay, we're going to come to the back of my unit, okay? Do you mind if you grab me your like, like, sanitizer again? I'm going to read it to him. Not even in the back. No, yeah, yeah, just, it's in your... It's in your seat organizer, just right here. I got him. Mr. Botero. Give him my cap. Oh, your cap's going to go in the back of my car. Okay. My body camera's going to be running the whole time. Don't worry about your money. Go to the left, okay? To the left. Okay. We got you on each side. Go ahead. Okay. I got you. All right, 122 G. Oh, is it 122 G? Okay. Mr. Platero. Negative. Yeah. Oh, you want to get, turn on the light in there for him, search? Okay. Okay. All right, get in there. It's the far, it's to the right. Okay. There you go. There you go, Mr. Platero. Yeah. Hot. Uh, okay. You're also handcuffed now, so. And you're invalid revoked, sir, okay? Where is your face, man? Uh, I, I don't need to wear one. Do you want me to wear one? Will that make you feel comfortable? There we are. Yeah. Okay, so here's that. Let me get you. Where'd you say you left it? It's right there in your seat organizer. It's just like, there's one of those little pockets. I just stuffed it right there on the top. Okay, so... 105 has graciously taken this, so he'll need a triple I reference to M47. I spit in Patero. your mouth, man. Um, Why are you going to spit in my mouth? I'm being cool with you. Adam Zebra, man, I, young I'm boy, spit on me. Two seven. I and if you can add that plate to the car. Okay, sir. Hey, you can get sick. I've been sick. I got it doing this you job. Sir, I got, I've been sick I before. I haven't get no shot, nothing. I'm not vaccinated either, sir. I haven't. <laughs> All right, Mr. Platero. So tonight I'm arresting you for DWI. Can you tell me how many times you've been arrested for DWI? Shit, I don't know. Shit, you don't know? Uh, how, <laughs> more than four? More than seven, three? Six or some. Six or seven? Yeah. Okay. All right. But I was even drinking. You told me you were. You, you told, okay. Okay, <laughs> sir. It's fine. What? Don't try to spit on me, Mr. Platero. No. I get the virus. Okay. That's fine. This one might be a search warrant. Why? He's told me he's been arrested probably six or seven times for DWI. Oh, God. All right. Sir, I'm going to read you this, okay? 
All right, so listen to me, Mr. Patero. I'm about to tell you something important, including a right you have. You are under arrest for DWI. The, I am requesting that you consent to have your blood drawn and tested to determine the alcohol and or drug content of your blood. You have the right to refuse my consent to my request. If you refuse to consent, you cannot face criminal, criminal penalties for your refusal. Do you understand that right? Do I need to re reread it to you? No, sorry. Okay, sir, so I'm going to reread this to you, okay? All right. Listen to me. I'm about to tell you something important, including a right you have. You are under arrest for DWI. I am requesting that you consent to have your, have your blood drawn and tested to determine the alcohol and or drug content of your blood. You have a right to re refuse to my consent to my request. If you refuse to consent, you cannot face criminal penalties for your refusal. Do you understand? Is that right? Get, get my blood. Yes, sir. Oh. I'm asking for, uh, for your blood sample. Okay, because I don't think you'll be able to blow into a machine just because how old you are, okay? And it, what it's saying is you cannot face criminal criminal penalties for your refusal. All right, but I'm asking for your blood. I'll have to read you some more here in a second, but that's what I'm asking. Do you understand what I do? What I read? Uh, get my blood check. The It'll nurse. be San Juan Regional Medical. The nurse. The nurse. A registered nurse, not me. Okay, I'll just be there when it happens, okay? But I'm going to read the the next portion, okay? However, refusing consent has other consequences in accordance with New Mexico Implied Consent Act and state law. Those consequences may include losing your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for yeah. one year. Yeah. Additionally, the fact that you refuse consent may be used as evidence against you in a court of law. Do you understand these consequences? You said, yeah, I know, so I assume you assume you're... And he you know, nodded his head up and down, my yes. Blood. Oh. Yes. Uh, John. What? Did you say take your blood? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, sir. We'll do... Let me read this. Finish this out for you, okay? All right. No, additionally, if the consent, have your blood drawn and tested. You have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take the additional independent test, you have right to a reasonable opportunity range for a physician, a licensed nurse, or a laboratory technician, or a technologist who is employed by a hospital or a physician in your own choice yeah, for no, additional no, chemical no, test. Man. The cost of the additional hey. test will be for, paid for by a law enforcement agency. Know your right to freeze consent, the possible yeah, consequences, no, and your right to, to an independent test. Do you give consent to have your blood drawn and tested? You give us our. You give us your permission to take you to the nurse and draw your blood. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Uh, so I'll get this thing taken care of. I am so sorry. I appreciate you. I owe you breakfast next week. Cool. And uh, I don't know why Ricky's don't want to jump this stuff, man. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna have a talk with him. <laughs> it's all good, though. I know, and we're all recording, so you can't really talk about it on scene. Yeah, I know. Later. Oh. Oh. Uh, let's go get your blood drawn. All right, so let's go get your blood drawn real quick, okay? Give me your hands, all right? I got you. Oh. I got you. You're okay. Just hold on. Yeah, okay. 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 Stop, 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 stop. My knees, man. Your knees? Yeah. Okay. okay, let's come over here closer to my car. I gotta lock my car, okay? Make sure it's locked. Okay, it's locked. All right. Let's walk around this way. I'm gonna have them get a wheelchair for you on the way out, okay? So I don't have to walk as much, okay? Yeah.